Hello there, and I'm glad you made it here. Uh, we will now focus on creating a first collection. We will be creating the block structure, uh, mainly to see the articles on the homepage. And from now on, we will be using a lot of the CMS uh, to pull the dynamic content. So whenever we will add new blog post or new speaker or new event, it will automatically appear on the structure of the homepage. We want to now focus on the on the blog section, which will be our stories. So we will add the H2 here. Our stories. And we will possibly have to wrap this up again so we can do the margins. So let's do it like this. And then do 100 pixels. We could do this though as a padding so we can link it then as a anchors. Yep, that would make more sense, I guess. Yes, we were using paddings here though. Nice. And here would be 80 and 200. Great, awesome. We have this paragraph link, so we can actually put the text block here, call it paragraph link. Then we have the link, read all stories. And we will put this one into a another div block so we can put it together. We will, as we know, do it as a as a flex box. This one will be slightly more uh, challenging because we need to paragraph link uh, all block posts link, and we will put it ten pixels up. That's still not enough. So let's do some proper alignments. Right, paragraph link, but it doesn't have the link. Ooh, what is going on? So we definitely don't want to do it like this. We want to do text link, paragraph link, awesome, all blog post link, read all our stories read all stories awesome and the spacing here is 20 for some reason right 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 we don't want to use heading 2 for this one this one is only heading about us and this one, this all blog posts will have 20 pixels from here. Great. This is a blog wrap and blog heading wrap. We have a blog sorted out. Let's look at blog headline. We have a sorted out. Let's look at the collections. So this will be the first collection which we will be pulling out. Uh, we will first probably style just the elements and then we will work on the collections. Let's style uh, one of the blog posts. So we have again uh, 12, 12 column grid with six columns for the for one of the blog posts. Then we have some sort of label here which we will be pulling again from the collection later on. So we will just style it for now and then we will get the content once we will have the collections for the block ready. So how do we do that again? Let's check what was the margin from here. Hundreds. So if the title is giving us 10, it will be 90. We have a 90 margin and then we pull in here. I think grid will be the easiest option. 
we will style it with the gaps of 30 no rows no rows and that's that we will push this one here grid is already working out we will call this one a block post home grid and that's about that we will pull one div block into the section so we can wrap the blog post we will put here a uh, image which we already have exported so we can do the one with dominic great hdbi awesome we will also uh, wrap this one in another div as well so we can put stuff in it which will be the label of the of the date we will do this one only with a text block because we will style it uh, we will style it uh, with the with the background so we will have again 20 and uh, we will put here 20 so it will be again 20 and 9 as is the button which could have made sense to me so we have white background we have nine why am i not pulling it with the alt command blah 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 padding awesome and then we will capitalize it put it on medium bisby or actually that was both right 12 and 20 and i think this one was dark yes so we don't use this color we used full black awesome we can call this one as march 7th march 7th and we want to put it together which is now not working but we will find a way we will put this one as a relative this one again as relative, no, as absolute. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Actually, you know what? We won't do it that way. I'm th I think I'm making it slightly more co confusing. Let me change this. We will put this one as a uh, as a diff, which we will be covering with the image. So this one has. 200 pixels width I'm now styling the the div block actually I'm now styling the, st uh, styling the div block we will call this one a blog post home cover we will put the image which we were using previously sorry for this one uh, as the cover image now we can finally see that the block is actually already in it that's why I was slightly confused why it's not working uh, now we have to style it appropriately. We will put it now on the grid as a flexbox. Again, everything is flexbox, and as a align to top, and it's already there. Everything's awesome. Life is awesome. Everything's working. Great. So we will just possibly use this one. I think that's the easiest way. Heading 315. Yep, that makes sense. So let's put it here. Oh, we, we forgot to name this one. We can name it as a uh, blog post date label. Awesome. We have the H3. Does the image has five? So we will put this one five margin. So it's reflecting in the same way as we have this one. So it's nicely working together. We will put paragraph here. We can now pull the name of the article. These all will be obviously coming out of the of the collection once we will have it. But let's do it just for now so we can we are happy with the whole thing. And now we will take the whole link block actually you know what i think we made something here which is not exactly how it's supposed to be so this one is flexbox but as you can see now the whole thing 
is is working like a link because the the link block is expanding the whole thing across the whole width so we need to figure it out how to not make it as a fully expandable thing and let me check how to do that we can actually see now that the flexbox is expanding the whole thing or stretching that's the word which i'm looking for sorry <laughs> language barrier uh if we will put it like this bang the link is not stretching awesome we have it so we will now put it here great now i'm just looking at again we have the bold text that's really annoying thing if we remove it it's not there it's not actually issue here with the visb font but once when when you're using different fonts like the basic ones it's uh, somehow putting the font in a in a bold and uh, it's slightly annoying when you put it that way because i'm just copy pasting it from Ske sketch and i think webflow or the browser is getting some information through the through the copy paste so we have this now we have to figure it out uh, what was the margin here so we have the whole thing wrapped in a service item wrap this one we will put into another wrap as well we will put this one let's do this uh, no, 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 we can actually just do service item rep here as well and then do duplicate item and we can put this block home post item and we already have it with the margin 10 and it's the same styling as the previous one. Did we lost some of the information of the flexbox service rep? we should probably we could have done that before obviously uh yes and we will do that so because now i think it will be doing the same stuff with the link exactly so we will put this one as a service wrap now as you can see it jumped below the link is working great and now we will just duplicate this one as a blog home post wrap bang all done we have the one post styled and then we have the second one we will create our first cms collection we will call this one a blog post already have the structure i had to just check before just for the ceo reasons uh what does the link here uh says so it's, it's again says it's before you shine.com slash post slash the link of the of the dust of the of the blog post so we want to use that here so we don't lose the ceo or google doesn't think that's a that's a duplicate so we will have a name we will have a probably post body let me check how it's done currently so we have a name body some sort of image and that's basically the whole thing we will have thumbnail image we can have future features we can have color although i don't think color is necessary here in this one yes cool i think that's about it for now we have post summary that's exactly what we need for the for the home page so let's create collection awesome let's create first blog post uh, we will pull only the two so we can we can work with it uh so this is the first one uh let's do this that's actually the second one because it's uh, yes so but that doesn't matter we will sort it out by date so let's put this one as a post summary my startup story as a title Post body we won't use for now, but we will put there the image as a thumbnail image. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Block two, yes. So we have the thumbnail image. Fine for now, I think. Great. We will do the second one, which is here. Doo -doo -doo my startup story yes and we also need to somehow change when it was created so we can add more fields here one of them will be date, date and time so we can call this one a blog post release date 
great. Include time picker. No, that's not necessary. This field is required. Yeah. So let's save the collection. We will go here. Now we will change this one to June 12th. Awesome. Save. This one is March 7th. March 7th and save. We have those two already. So let me do the collection thing. So we will put their collection list. We will put it obviously on top. We will then go here, uh, change the collection item to, we have to basically, but first we need to collect, connect the collection and that's blog post. You can already see it's starting to work something. Uh, we will put there only one of the items because we will be replicating it. That's how the collection item works. I'm slightly sorry for the next bit. I took a break and when I came back, I somehow forgot to put the microphone next to my mouth. So the next bit has a slightly worse audio, but it will be just for a few minutes. I think the easiest way, as I find out, is to put the grid on the collection list. So we will have here again, blog, post, home, grid, great. The collection item is actually nothing and it's already working. So that was the trick. So you're putting always the grid on the collection list and then you resizing the collection item. So it can be like this, it can be in two columns, it can be in three columns, it can be anything you want. So now we can do the, the magic of uh, Webflow collections. So we can get the div for the image which will be the thumbnail picture so we will get the background image from blog posts and we will do the thumbnail picture bang it's already there we will get the h3 which is the title we will get it from the name awesome we will get the paragraph again text from blog post post summary bang working and then we will do a link block which we will link from the collection and we will do it from the current blog post. Awesome. All seems to be working. The last thing which we want to do is to get text for the blog post date label and we will get it from here, blog post release date. And now we have to just tell this one, we will pick whichever option we want. And we will do, we can't actually do the August 19 only, but we can do August 2019. But yeah, I think I'm pretty much happy with the March, June, because the blog posts won't be coming that often uh, on this page. So I guess the month is enough for the, for the release. Epic. So we have the blog posts home grid we then do again uh, 120 uh, of the padding so we will do the blog wrap we will do 120 because we always do 120 in this website and then we will place there another divider we will put there another divider bang bang put it under the blog wrap. We have the divider. Now we will be doing the, our speaker section. Cool, so that was it. Uh, we created our first collection. And again, if you have any troubles or if you run into any issues, feel free to message me and comment under the video. I'll be happy to help.